Um, if you've not seen this before, um, just so you know, everything I'm showing here is microstation capability that's been there since last year, Select Series 3. So uh, this is microstation, Select Series 3, uh, with nothing added to it. And you'll see here there are uh, there's a model which is clipped at the moment. Let me unclip it. This model happens to be a point cloud. Um, that doesn't matter if it's point cloud or vector model. Makes no difference. Um, and you also see, I'm going to back up to ground zero here where there's nothing. I'm going to slowly turn everything off. Uh, you'll see me exercising the mini toolbar, by the way. So hopefully all that all that sharing, like right there, when I'm hovering, do you see a little toolbar here? Okay, good. So I'm turning off the, uh, notice all the callouts disappeared. But the same toolbar is uh, can be found from the little markers. So from the markers, you can turn the callouts on. Callouts indicate that somebody made a drawing in the document set, um, which a drawing that represents the physical location indicated by the callout symbol. So the, the callouts can be toggled, and they're replicated across the model and all of the drawing documents automatically in both directions. So you put a new callout in the model. It replicates itself um, on all the sheets where it's relevant spatially, and vice versa. So if you put a new call out on a sheet, it'll just show up here. Actually, what will show up is its marker. Uh, the markers are these little glyphs. There's one that looks like a sphere that's sliced in half, an orange inside. That's a stylized orange fruit, which indicates that there's a drawing document that is sectional. The one with the down arrow is a plan. There's also one for detail, which is a magnifying glass, and one for uh, um, elevation. I can't remember what that looks like. Uh, so there's also view attributes. Uh, since SS3 in MicroStation, there's a new view attribute called markers. So I can turn them all off. So you see they're all off now. I can turn them back on, and I can also filter them by type. So the markers will, um, if you have uh, drawing documents that are typed as section, plan, detail, elevation, they'll be listed here, and you can turn them on and off uh, by type. You, the other, there will be other types of markers that are listed in this uh, list here, too. If you put a link on some element to a PDF or Excel or a video or anything, um, those types will be listed here, and you can turn them on and off by type. All right, so there's a, a fun, some other functionality on the mini toolbar, and one is um, uh, turn on the, the document graphics, display sheet, on it, sheet annotations. That means display, and there's another one called um, clip. So when I turn on sheet annotations, that means take anything and everything that is on the sheet and or the drawing, and show it here superimposed in place in the model. And it creates a reference. So this, these are referenced graphics that come from, from the sheet. Uh, and so it, that sheet includes, I'm going to open the sheet and show you. So there's also this open. So I'll open. This sheet includes two things. A raster image, which I'll turn off. Um, and the yellow lines that I drew on the sheet. So those are any graphics that I draw on the sheet. Oh, and it also, had, it also has a view of the model. So when you place a call out and drag it onto a sheet, and I can show you this process if you'd like to see, it makes the model view there. It's just the standard view of the model on a sheet thing. So there's a reference here uh, of the model. And that is, uh, as you can see, I turned it off. 
So that's a reference attachment of the model. And then on top of that, I've added two things, all the yellow curves plus the raster. There's also a drawing title. Uh, if I click on the, if I mouse on the drawing title, you see two buttons. One is open the model, and that means open the model invoked at this section. And there's also replicate callouts. So there, you see it replicates the callouts. Wherever the callouts are in the model or other sheets whose volume, clip volume, crosses the clip volume of this view, uh, those callouts will be replicated. And toggle them off if I want or leave them. can also turn them on and off uh, in single shot if I want. I can set this to uh, not all, but uh, selected, and I could turn it off. And so those those options are persistent on the sheet. They'll persist. There's also um, this one, open model. So before I open the model, let's put a new section call out here. So I'll demonstrate how this works. It's in drawing composition. OK. The, everything, everything flows from these tools right here, which is in drawing composition. They're, they're all the same, they're just different orientations. One is a plan orientation, one is section, which is vertical. This one's elevation and detail. So let's put a section. You have to pick a seed. So I'll say uh, make it uh, A2 sheet only. And then you say, I want it to cut through here, um, looking this way. I'll give it a name, Section Volker. And I won't open the model. And I'll say OK. What I want to do now is, um, well, heck, why don't I go open that sheet? So here's Section Volker. I'll go open it. So there's Section Fulker. I need to move the drawing title. Move. Let's put the drawing title here. And I need to adjust its, uh, I click on it. It has a clipping boundary. I need to make it big enough because this becomes a clipping boundary uh, in the model. So I also have a problem with the, the RGB. I need to set this to RGB there. So there's a clipped view of the model. It seems to be clipped a second time. That's that's not expected. That's wrong. So uh, di disregard that for now. And uh, but let's draw some stuff on it. Draw. Here's anything I add to my model view, which will be in uh, cyan color and so. So I'm carefully uh, drawing extra stuff on the document. And now I'm going to go, I can either just open, by the way, all these sheets can be in any number of DGNs. They're, they don't have to be inside the, the, the model DGN, the 3D model DGN. They can be anywhere, and it all works the same. So I can, I can, uh, I can go, though, to the uh, design model again through here or through the file open or whatever or I can open it yeah let's do that let's go to design views so now that I'm back in here you see there's a new marker that appeared there it is section Volker. let's turn on its call out so I've replicated its call out and one last button is let's apply it uh, I showed you individually that there's this, see, that takes the document graphics and puts, superimposes them in place. And I showed you the clipping. I showed you the open. There's also this apply, which um, there's a bug here. It shouldn't reset the point cloud to white. It should be RGB. But you can see there that the apply does the clipping and the document graphics uh, at the same time. That's all. And in this model, you can you can do more more than one at the same time. So you might 
uh, let's say I want the clipping of the plan, again the RGB, and I want the plan document on too. So I've got, now I've got all these things in the same space. And I can start to wonder about them, what they mean in relationship to each other. I can also edit them from here. So I can right click and activate the, uh, the sheet here. So now I'm editing Volker's uh, section. The Volker's section should look like this now. And it should be uh, this color green instead and uh, deactivate. Yeah, I'm almost done with the demo now. This is the last thing. And of course, if I go open the, uh, sorry, wrong section. Volker, oops, where's your, where's your marker? Here it is. If I open section Volker, you'll see that that changes me because I was just editing a reference 